That's Guy Clark on Off the Barn Wall on Zoom. From old number one, Guy's first album for RCA Records from some time back. Used to get requests for that. They'd uh, call and say, want to hear that, uh, that Dallas Horse song. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's in there, but it ain't a big part of the story. <laughs> Bars and Tucker Band started it off from their new one, Running Like the Wind, and that was Melody Ann, and then uh, Willis Allen Ramsey from his, <laughs> well, what can you say? It's still his only album after all these years. That was Watermelon Man, Willis Allen, and a dude named Robert Aberg on a slide guitar there. About 13 minutes after 8 o'clock, Bob, on Off the Barn Wall, and uh, good evening to you. I'd like to personally thank the folks at the uh, railroad crossing on Highway 62 there uh, for my somewhat delayed entrance, but uh, better late than never, I suppose. Anyhow, it's uh, about time for one of these. And... <laughs> yes, Larry and I were just discussing that, as a matter of fact. You know, working at the little radio station in the woods, it's a rock and roll station. I like rock and roll. I like all kinds of stuff. If it's good, I can like it. But uh, that commercial, I mean, you know, folks at Motorcycle Specialties, they're great folks. I've had a long talk with uh, one of the gents down there about uh, maybe getting myself a set of wheels and all of that stuff. And I just keep thinking I'm playing country music, and I push the button, and I get, boom, Led Zeppelin. I just never know what's going to come stomping out of the woods. And, yeah, hmm. Anyway, 14 minutes after 8 o'clock, there's a consumer safety hotline. They take calls reporting safety problems and uh, provide info to concerned folks. Uh, numbers 1-800-638-8326. Toll free 1-800-638-8326, okay? All right. I was driving back from the Kerrville Folk Festival uh, in the latter part of May and coming through Houston listening to uh, about the most progressive of the commercial country stations on the FM band over there. And... Uh, Heard Ernest Tubbs waltz across Texas and thought that's an unusually clean recording of that. Discovered then it was a new one, and it came from this new album. <laughs> Friends, you do not get no more country than that. <laughs> Ooh, boy, that's Ernest Tubb, if I needed to tell you. Two cuts from volume one of The Legend and the Legacy. Ernest Tubb started it off with waltz across Texas with some help from Willie Nelson on vocals, Charlie McCoy and Charlie Daniels on harmonica and guitar. And uh, walking the floor over you at the end with Merle Haggard and Charlie Daniels on the uh, guitars. And we're all doing vocals. And <laughs> and a snide little comment. And uh, in the middle of it, from one on Ernest's own record label called First Generation, came out a couple uh, years ago. A little thing called Half My Heart's in Texas, written by a lady named Linda Hargrove, who is something in her own right. 22 minutes after 8 on Zoom, off the barn wall with Bob and the CDB and a mini concert. Right. The CDB in a mini-concert for thee. I hate doing that. <laughs> That's so trite. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, <laughs> Do you notice that, that man, uh, they really have to censor his singles. It seems well, like actually, every single he, he has, it's a hit. It's, yeah. Something's cut out of it. Yeah, but did you notice, uh, have you heard the single version? Yes. It's not beeped. They actually recut it or yes, recut that verse. Yes, Charlie said, you son of a gun. But we get to play the nasty one since That's we're on FM. Right. Ha ha. <laughs> hey, there's an overstep. Yeah, some little deal. And uh, late-breaking bulletin, the uh, the uh, Good Boat Aardvark. <laughs> the, good bo <laughs> the Good Boat Aardvark is going to be out there. That's the flagship of the Zoom Navy. Uh, I saw that. No normally seen strapped to the top of my truck. I think it's back. amazing you could even get in that thing. <laughs> You'd have to see it to believe it, friends. Anyway, I've got music for you on OTBW here on Zoom at 20 till 9. All right, Alvin Crow and the Pleasant Valley Boys on OTBW and the Texas Kid making his retirement run. Put a white cross on my tombstone from John Emery and the Missouri Valley Boys from a few years back. And uh, back at the beginning of it, that's from a new album by Roy Clark with Gatemouth Brown, one of the most unlikely combinations I could even imagine. Picked the album up and said, I don't even believe these guys are playing together. Put it on the turntable and said, I don't even believe this, but I like it. <laughs> we heard 4 o'clock in the morning. And I can't wait to see what happens when the the average Roy Clark fan runs down to the average record store and buys his little Dickens off the shelf there and takes it home and puts it on their little average little little stern turntable and stereo there and blows the roof off the living room. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. Start at Eaton Page and Zoom invites you to spend an evening with the Allman Brothers Band. That's a Wednesday night, July 25th, in the Beaumont Civic Center. Tickets are on sale now at Parkdale Civic Center, a Parkdale Ticket Center, that is. Sunrise Imports in Beaumont, Civic Center Box Office, Texas Bank in Beaumont, Salmar's and Orange and Viter, West Department Store in Port Natchez, Winnie Communications in Winnie, Harvest Records in Lake Charles, and they're all general admission. Seven and a half in advance, eight and a half on the day of the show. 
Along with that, Zoom 104.5 will let you backstage if you have the best Allman Brothers Zoom 104.5 Welcome to Beaumont poster. So make up some sort of a poster with no kind of sticks or sharp objects involved in it and make it uh, the biggest, the best poster you can make to welcome the Allman Brothers to the Golden Triangle. And be sure and include Zoom 104.5 or KZOM or little things to that effect. And if you got the best one, well, you get backstage with us, huh? Okay. <laughs> Eight minutes away from 9 o'clock, we're uh, approaching the close of OTVW. I have an album for you. If you'd like uh, a brand-new copy of David Bromberg's My Own House, his latest album on Fantasy Records, give me a call at 745-2222 or 727-0229, and you can have it, okay? Hi, this is Ro- <laughs> Oh. That's got to be the weirdest ending I have ever heard on any piece of music anybody ever recorded anywhere, and I recorded it. <laughs> it was Jerry Jeff Walker and the Lost Gonzo Band recording live at Lamar University about, uh, gosh, what was that, four years ago? Something like that. <laughs> I don't know, friends. It's uh, <laughs> it's weird. Gave away a couple of David Bromberg albums. That was uh, Head Full of Nothing. <laughs> And uh, Charlie Dunn and Bissing in the Wind. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I just punched the buttons. It's 9 o'clock at Zoom, KZOM in Orange. I've got one more record I just had to play for you tonight on OTBW. The doctor will forgive me. I hope the dimensions and the bentites will, too. One more on OTBW. This one is from John Stuckey. One written by Willie Nelson. And I like it a whole bunch. I still can't believe this hour goes so quickly. <laughs> KZOM and Orange, Zoom 104 and a half, and you've heard off the barn wall. Exclusively heard here on Zoom and copyrighted 1979 by old Uncle Bob Crockett. Six minutes past nine o'clock. My apologies to uh, the dimensions and dementites, but uh, it's like old Will Rogers used to say sometimes that stuff's just going to happen. At least that's the way I heard it. <laughs> Bond in space. Where all the other Bonds end, this one begins. Moonraker, starring Roger Moore as James Bond and Lois Childs as Holly Goodhead. All right. Now showing at the Galen Theater, 11th Street in Beaumont. Oh, let's rock and roll, people. <laughs> <laughs> 